Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to topic 10. I'm sure that by now you guys might be feeling that quick settings is already, you know, so much that we can do a lot with it. And definitely you can. But Vray BRDF is important because some things are there in detail which you can work on. Now, not everything is very important, but definitely it helps improve the render. Okay. So I'm just going to click on the asset editor and I'm simply going to click on let's say this first material over here and open up this side which is Vray BRDF. Now before I get into what is Vray BRDF let me tell you what does BRDF stand for. So Vray BRDF the BRDF stands for bidirectional reflectance distribution function. So that's bidirectional reflectance distribution function that means we can control all the reflection settings very well within this brdf now as you can see we have the diffuse we have the reflection the refraction we have the translucency we have the brdf settings we have the opacity we have the layer options and we have the multipliers now in all of these let me just explain to you what these are all right so the diffuse is basically uh, the color settings which we can have so the color can be any color as well as it can be rough then we have the reflection the reflection is controlling all the reflectivity options so including the glossiness and the reflection together the IOR as well the exit color the depth of the reflection and everything in that then we have the refraction refraction as you guys know is building transparency trans you know uh, making it look uh, a little bit more transparent that can be done and you can see over here the fog color comes with it that's because both of them work together so does the ior as well as the glossiness so all of this comes under refraction then we have translucency so when you're adjusting the translucency there are a lot of things which come into play what is the backside color what is the thickness does the transparent material have like a good thickness what is the light multiplier that means the light which falls inside the material in that thickness how is it working then we have the brdf options the brdf is mostly on your graphic card so you can see the gtr gx over here we can select different uh, over here options to actually see the whole material setup change slightly so if i use the micro face it we have the best look and these all come under adjusting this particular setting after this we have the opacity of course the opacity is simply controlling how opaque would that texture basically be what we do anyway in the quick settings then we have the layer options so you can see the trace reflections do you want it to trace reflections or not or do you do then do you want it to be double sided or not this would work more for glass then we have the trace refraction so do you want it to trace that but since there is no refraction in this it will be useless to switch this off or switch this on then you have got the use iridance map you can see that as well the fog system scaling unit if we are using fog color you've got linear workflow you can see the entire texture color itself gets over uh, taken then we have the cutoff threshold so the cutoff threshold basically means where do you want to cut off the color in in general all right so you can see over here it's at uh, and it'll never be above one all right so it's a very minute setting but you can see that difference coming in for the material now before i you know go into the details guys see i know all of you all are finding this a little bit complicated like oh what is this gi or what is this energy preservation or this texture mode but remember one thing and it's very easy to just understand this one simple thing what the material looks like over here is what is it it's going to look like in the render so if you are happy with this then what names these have really do not matter. You just need to have the broad idea of what certain things do. So remember that and then I think it's going to be very easy for you guys to start creating excellent renders. All right. So I'm going to put it to you guys very easily. <laughs> All right. Then we have got the multipliers. So the multipliers over here are basically some things like this. Like if you increase this, it is actually going to have more it's going to take over more than the rest the same is for the roughness so we're actually going to adjust each of these for all our materials 
uh, until we you know are happy with the material altogether so these have a lot of different changes and most of them are same like the above ones except multipliers multiply the effect of that particular option so if you have you know put up an opacity so if you increase this actually multiplying the opacity over here so you can see if i reduce this you now you can actually see that it will then only have a certain change to this all right so this is basically how multipliers basically function okay guys so i hope you guys have understood this uh now we have the next thing over here we have got is options now in options you have got a lot of different things again over here which we will be getting into every time we kind of you know create a material and whether it affects the material and whether it makes sense for the material to have that right you saw v-ray itself right when you change this to metal a lot of settings go away because those settings do not really matter for this particular material then you have maps maps is what i showed you guys with the bump so here you they tell you that you should be adding it in three different places that is a bump map that is a displacement map and then the override so is there any background is there any reflection or is there any refraction override that needs to be done so all of these things you know encompass of just editing a single material so what the entire course that i'm going to you know teach you guys is instead of getting confused in hundreds and hundreds of settings we're actually going to be seeing how do we use certain settings to its best of its ability to get the best texture that we want so we're going to be working with wood metal tiles uh you know floorings fabric we're going to be working with ceramic with we're going to be working with light we're going to be working with paints concrete rough concrete we're going to be working with different kinds of woods with different kinds of fabrics and chairs sofas we're going to be working on so many different things that eventually you will have an idea about all the different materials so that's what you guys should be focusing on and don't try to get too confused into all of these things all right now before i move ahead you guys can see a small little plus sign over here this basically lets us add a layer similar to that as this generic so let's say if i add a, a car paint layer then automatically every, the quick settings get override and now we will be working only on the car paint layer and then we'll be working on the V-Ray BRDF settings. All right, and if you don't want it, you can simply click on these three buttons over here and delete it off and you'll come back to the previous setting. Similarly, over here, you've got various different things like let's say if I select hair, so you've actually got hair over here, which kind of, you know, has its, its own options altogether all right but in the end of the day we do not really need this so let me just delete this off i'm going to be talking about something very specific what we will use which is emissive this is something which we will use and i will be talking about a lot and that is basically having a object which glows so this is same as you're uh, adding a mesh like how we did you know for this block over here which gives complete light this as well will give us light except over here it's quite simple select the color that you want under emissive and increase the intensity and you can actually see how this starts to glow so this is a very good way to have spotlights done and we'll be using this as well for that also for uh, you know concealed lightings we'll be using this as well so very good way to actually use this and i'm actually going to take a very basic render to show you how this uh, even looks so let me just kind of stop this and take out a render to actually show you how that looks and when I stop this, let me just take out an interactive render because, you know, I'd want to show you guys the changes which are happening as well. So I actually see that how this is increasingly changing over here. So you can see that becomes yellow. Uh, we've got the transparency color. So if I increase this, you can actually see how uh, it goes back to its already set, uh, you know, uh, material. Here I can increase the intensity completely. You can actually you know we need to select a very good color and usually light colors are good over here they emit very well you know they emit the whole uh, look itself very well and uh, you can see we have double sided as well uh, emit on the back side do you need that to happen um, then of course i'll reduce the transparency color over here you've got texture saying multiplier let's say if i switch it to blend amount you can actually see that it intensifies even more and we can reduce that over here and that's basically about how you can adjust all the settings the way you want it really so that's basically something like that 
but we need it to be in multiplier for it to be seen and that's about it guys that's basically how we use the emissive property and i'm actually going to be showing you guys emissive property in almost a lot of spaces when we are adding you know uh, light to the source area all right so we'll be seeing that now i can easily delete this off and we come back to our basic material which we had previously so that's basically what goes into the V-Ray BRDF. So we have got a lot of, you know, details in it. And when we actually use these, you know, to do, uh, to create a lot of uh, different changes in our material, uh, we'll actually be seeing. So you can see the use friend cell. If I, you know, switch that off, you can actually see what friend cell really did. And if we say we want to lock friend cell to IOR refraction, you can actually see it locks the friend cell IOR and the refraction IOR in the same way. So if this is switched off, I can actually, cons uh, you know, uh, you know, completely uh, hold on to my friend cell IOR and I can actually just use it accordingly. And if I switch this off also, now whatever I actually make change here is going to be completely useless. So when we get into a little bit more, you know, depths and details, it's actually going to help us out a lot. You can see the max depth of air. Let's say I reduce that. The depth automatically of our uh, entire reflection starts to change. Then we've got the exit color we can switch that to let's say white so that's basically how you guys are going to completely adjust from the vray brdf as well i prefer a very different approach towards rendering i always use the quick settings because it's easy understandable and it's fast and then some things which i want to maybe make better i then get into the vray brdf so it's less confusing and it's more uh, easy for us to you know get the perfect render because in the end of the day how you do it does not matter getting the perfect render is what really matters all right so uh, that's what we are going to be seeing in our projects so guys till then i want you guys to rewind the videos see all of them try them and then obviously go on to the next topic i'll be seeing you guys in topic 11 take care